Okay, this is huge. And it's all ours. I gotta admit, it would be nice to have a little bit of space. New York is full of people. You're never alone. So here you are, the afterlife. We are ghosts. Ooh. And now you can enjoy all the rewards eternity has to offer. <laughs> But what's this? That's a horse's carriage. Uh-oh, it's the living. Wow. OK, this is huge. And it's all ours. <gasps> They're moving into your house. You light this stuff, and it wards off evil spirits. Does that work? They're over here. And they're there. Libertines! Gosh darn it, now they're everywhere. Why? Why? Trash can right there! <gasps> what's a soul to do? Well? Why not haunt them out? Oh. After all, you're ghosts. Yeah. Here are three surefire steps to a successful haunting. Step one, voices from the beyond. Oh, when you man. sing, the living can hear you. I get it, I'll hum something scary. Frighten them with your mournful song. I got the stereo working. Cool. Haunting is hard. Step two, walk through them. When you do, they can feel the essence of you. <laughs> and that's mighty spooky. Oh, babe. Nice try, that was you. It smells like a fart when the living walk through you. Dysentery with no party. Step three, telekinetics. Yes, moving things in the physical world may require a lot of effort. No, sorry, hold on. Got it, you, got it, you got it, you got it. But if you can do it, nothing is scarier. For further tips on how to properly haunt a home... She can see us. <laughs> Watch Ghosts.